Hi, I'm Scott Santoro. I'm a graphic designer, teacher, and author of Guide to Graphic Design. We're in my studio in Lower Manhattan called Worksite. Worksite was created after exploring my family's blue-collar trade of plumbing. I realized in grad school that I could tap that as a metaphor to kind of inform my own graphic design work. In a sense, like my father dealt with systems in the walls, I deal with systems in the mind. He had a tough, you know, tool aesthetic. I collect lots of tools and try to bring that tough aesthetic to some of the work that I do. They're inspirational because they have a, a utility about them and a purity and a, a authenticity about how they're supposed to work. And yet at the same time, they're beautiful objects. And in graphic design, it's the same thing. It has to function, but also delight. It's an analogy I can make that feeds me. You know, it connects me to the outside world. The tradition of design books is to begin with form, to teach form and then to teach ideas and thinking. And I really felt as if those books all had it backwards, that the way I teach, the way I practice my business, is I begin with understanding what an idea is, then I bring supportive form to that idea. So this book is a little bit different. It's to teach what design is, what research is, what an idea is, and then to explain what form is and how to make that support that intellectual thought that you want to convey. If you don't have an idea and you stylize it and you make it look pretty or decorative, but it doesn't say anything, uh, it falls flat. It doesn't resonate. Graphic design has to connect to the audience. It has to reach out and say something. But it's finding that intellectual idea that's the most important aspect of graphic design. What you want to say, what you want to convey to the reader, you've got to find that. So the book has a very eclectic spirit to it. There are voices from designers all over the world who bring their own approaches, their own processes, the very revealing. You get a broad generalization of all the work, all the designers, and all the approaches out there. And, but the, the guide does have the premise that it is a guidebook, that you have to find your own way, your own premise, your own approach to your work. I think design, in essence, has to have an authentic honesty built into it. The designers that make graphic design have to want to really try to communicate information and make it in a way that brings form to the idea, that makes it pleasant to look at or powerful to look at. But the main goal is to convey something out that makes a difference in other people's lives. It's a way that I uh, approach my work, it's the way I teach, and it's what Guide to Graphic Design is, is really all about.